Hi kitty cats. So today I'm gonna do empties and I've got a whole bag here of stuff. There are a couple of things missing because I had put them in the other room and my boyfriend put them in the recyclables by accident. So don't have them. And uh, one of them was some uh, Dove body soap, I think pomegranate scented, which was really nice, and I would repurchase it. So, um, although it's not like, it isn't like, oh my God, soap. It's more like, this is the soap that I use most of the time, kind of thing. So I would repurchase it. Anyways, to move along on this stuff, I like to do bigger items first. And first thing I'm going to do is the Watermelon Lemonade Bath and Body Candle. It smells so amazing. Um, that's where it burnt down to. Like, I could try to relight these, but they just, like, go out. So, And I don't think it's a good idea to burn the wax all the way down to the bottom anyways. They advise not to, and I have actually seen glass break before with um, trying to burn it all the way down the bottom. And it was not fun to clean up and can be really dangerous. So, anyways, on to some other products. Ooh, so many things in here. Oh, this is like the biggest item. We're gonna grab this out of here. <laughs> it really isn't that heavy or anything. <laughs> this is Gain Flings. They're like Tide Pods. They cost like the same amount. Um, at least where I am, they cost exactly the same price. I liked these better because I liked the scent, the Moonlight Breeze. They clean just as well as Tide. I don't notice any difference between the two of them. So, some people might think differently about that, but not me. So, and then we got the Snuggle. Snuggle is not usually what I buy, um, but I bought it this one time. I don't remember why. It is white lavender and sandalwood. I like lavender scented things for my clothing, but this one was kind of sweeter than the usual lavender scents. And I didn't really, I mean, I would repurchase it if there was nothing else that I like there. But it's not, like, my favorite. No, not my favorite. And this is my favorite. My favorite fabric softener. It says fabric conditioner. Um, is the Sweet Dreams Downy. I love the Sweet Dreams and the, um, the Moonlight one, too. The Sweet Dreams is a bit sweeter than the Moonlight one, so I prefer the Moonlight one, but this one's really nice too. They smell really good. Really nice. And I love, I love Downy for fabric softener. I think it's one of the better fabric softeners. And then we go, a lot of this stuff is laundry stuff, I think. A lot of laundry stuff. The Purex Crystals Lavender Blossom. I use these like crazy now. This is the only scent I like. I don't know why the other scents are just too sweet, in my opinion, for laundry. I know I like sweet scents all over the house, except in my laundry. I don't understand why. <laughs> it's just the way I am. But the, the Lavender Blossom is my favorite. I love lavender for my clothes. Maybe that's why I'm always sleepy. And now we got, this has been my favorite since these came out in the spring. The Glade Be Colorful Spring Collection. The Wild, Gra Le Wild Lemongrass and Green Pear. Really, really love this scent. I think it's fantastic. Lots of nice smells coming from that one. Um, Cotton Rounds from Rite Aid. 
I, they're pretty much all the same to me. They're all cotton rounds, excuse me. Cotton rounds are cotton rounds to me. So, these are the Equate Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Palettes. I have been buying these forever. Um, I think they're fine for just taking off your makeup, not your eye makeup. If you try to use it on your eye makeup, it stings your eyes, but everything else is fine. However, recently I've changed and been using something different. Would I repurchase these again? I'm not sure anymore. There's something else I kind of like better. It's another Equate, but it's just different. Um, the grapefruit ones that are like the Neutrogena kind of ones, but we'll see what happens. The Rite Aid Renewal Detoxifying Cleansing Tablets. No, no, I would never get these again. <laughs> they were not good at all. I mean, they sort of did the job, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase them again. The Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Cleansing Facial Towelettes. Yes, I would repurchase these again. I really liked them. I liked the smell. I think I like all the Yes to, uh, you know, coconut, Yes to tomatoes, all that stuff. Like, their uh, cleansing towelettes so far, everyone I've tried, I have liked. So, very fresh feeling. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What else do we got in here? We got a couple sheet masks. Um, the bot bleh. Botanic Fiber Facial Mask from BioBell. The blueberry and yogurt one. Um, probably not. I probably won't. It was okay. The BioBell ones are nice. I don't think they're like way up there. It's hard for me to remember. I do so many different sheet masks, especially for the Mask Mondays, that I kind of like get lost in which ones I really liked. But I don't, this one doesn't like make me go, ooh, yeah. So I'm assuming it was just like, okay. I mean, it's hydrating. So that's fine. There's this one. The Perlice Blue Lotus and Seaweed. This one, I really like the smell of. The smell was really nice. It was hydrating. It felt good. I would probably repurchase that. What else do we got in here? Just a handful of things I think left. Just a few makeup items. And this is Pistachio Remain. Yes, I don't know what happened to the top. My daughter takes them off and then they disappear. I loved the scent however i haven't been able to find it again i think it was discontinued it smelled like pistachio pudding and i really loved that <laughs> or pistachio ice cream like it smelled so good i i loved it wish that i could find it again because i would repurchase it what else we got in here oh here is a cap to something but i don't know why certainly not that um oh it's to this i see the e.l.f. Blemeth Control Face Primer. Yes, I would repurchase it. I already repurchased it. It is one of my favorite face primers. It does help with my acne, usually. I actually didn't use it for a couple weeks, and now I've got some acne. So, it did help when I was using it. Then, the e.l.f. SPF 20 Sunscreen Face Primer. I also like this one. I think it's good to have some, some uh, sunscreen on and this was good, but I actually like this better, which is terrible. I'd rather get rid of acne, apparently, than protect my skin. That's not good. <laughs> Maybe I should rethink that. What else do we got? This stuff, the 28 Remedy Skin Care Program Balancing Toner. It came, I think, in a Ipsy bag, possibly a Birch Box, but I think Ipsy. I haven't had Birch Box in a long time. I didn't like this toner at all. Um... I didn't like the consistency of it. It was kind of like a gel. And I prefer like toners that are more like, you know, just liquid. Um, and yeah, this was gel and I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it at all. I would not re like purchase this at all. Yeah. We've got my favorite Super CC Plus Physicians Formula, light to medium. SPF 30 broad, broad, broad Spectrum Sunscreen. I love this stuff. You can see I used it all the way up. Love it. Love, love, love. 
I've already repurchased it. I will probably repurchase it again and again and again. What else we got in here? Neobay Natural and Organic Oxygenating Cream. This stuff was awesome. I wish um, that I could afford to repurchase it. It's kind of expensive for me for moisturizer. It smelled so amazing. It moisturized so nice. It really was a great moisturizer, and I would suggest it to anyone. So, there you go. Also, Elf Makeup Mist and Set. It was okay. <laughs> That's all I can really say about it. Um, I think they have new ones now that are different than this one. This was like an older one. There's like no scent to it, which is fine. I actually like the fact that the hard candy one has like a cucumber sort of scent to it. But I mean, it's okay if it doesn't have a scent. Um, it wasn't as refreshing as the hard candy one. But I mean, what's important is how well it sets your makeup. And I feel they were both about the same. Not the best, but did okay kind of thing. Now I've got these. That's what's left. Mascaras, they, they aren't completely used up, but they're pretty old, so I'm getting rid of them because you shouldn't really keep old mascara. The Hard Candy uh, blah, 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 blah. Ginormous Lash Volumizing Mascara, and it came in, it's like a purple color. Yeah, purple haze. This was cool. I used it, uh, I think, around Halloween time, maybe for a certain look I was doing. I can't remember what. But I was doing something and the purple was nice. It, uh, I realize now I have like a primer and it would have been probably worked better with a primer. So I probably will try and get it again. So I might repurchase it again because I do like having fun colors. This one is the Twist Up the Volume Mascara from Hang Fang Cosmetics. There you go. This one... Uh, is color 119. It was a blue color. It also probably would have been better with a primer, but it did okay, and that's, you know, that's fine. So, yay. And the last thing, yep, that's the last thing, is this, and the Falsies Volume Express from Maybelline. Yes, I would repurchase this. It is my favorite drugstore mascara is the Maybelline ones. Um, this one I probably liked more than the one I have right now because right now I'm trying out the Mega Plush one, but I think I liked the Falsies one better, so I will probably be repurchasing this again, although none of them can add up to my better than sex as far as I'm concerned, but that was everything. I hope that all got recorded. <laughs> My camera's been acting kind of weird. Um, it's been getting overheated really easily. So I never know like when it's going to shut off by itself. And then I have to record stuff over again. And it drives me mad and makes me crazy. So. That was my aunties. Not as much as usual. There was a lot of big stuff in the bag. But that's what I had for you to see. And as I've already said, giveaway is going to be coming up soon. Probably by the end of next week, I suspect we'll have a giveaway. And also I'm going to have a try on uh, Gwynny B haul coming up. And possibly some other cool things. You know, the usual stuff that I do. Plus... Soon I'm going to have a really cool sort of video about some charity work that a friend of mine does. And that could be really neat for you to hear about. So, I'll be seeing you all later, kitty cats. And please remember, always be kind. Bye-bye. Pop, pop, pop. I could smell this all day long. All day. All night. Ouch.
don't even know. I don't know. So many things. Anyway. Uh, sometimes I just need some something refreshing smell to make me feel happy. like a neon coral kind of it's starting to chip though i should probably change my nails yeah <laughs> 